before a provincial rugby ball had even been kicked this season, a fairly prominent coach made a prediction. Asifo, Amu is the guy who'll eventually take over from, dang, Coles. Who for? The Hurricanes? No, no, the All Blacks. He's special. So special that, at just 20, he's made the increasingly rare leap from age group and provincial rugby, straight into the All Blacks. Amua might depart on the team's Northern Hemisphere tour as the fourth hooker in the queue, behind, Cody Taylor and Nathan Harris, but you doubt he'll be that low on the depth chart for long. Even All Blacks head coach Steve Hansen, a man not prone to overstatement, described Amua this week as pretty special. Most people have, over the years. Already a standout player by the time he hit Nini Intermediate School, Amua was 14 when staff at Wellington and the Hurricanes began plotting his path into those teams. At 15, he'd made the first 15 at St. Patrick's College Silverstream, then it was on to New Zealand schools and finally two years in the New Zealand Under-20 team. At each stage in that process, Amua's coaches were all saying remarkably similar things. He doesn't take a backward step and he can be brutal. He does everything at 100 miles an hour and has a tremendous attitude, former Silverstream First 15 coach Rob Ackerman said. A former Wales and British and Irish Lions outside back, who made his test debut against the All Blacks in 1980 as a teenager, Ackerman was in a good position to know a prodigious young talent when he saw one. The thing that has stood out about Amua's development since those school days, is the patient way he's been brought along. It's barely 12 months since he was playing for Wellington at the National Under-19 Tournament in Topo. Then an injury to hooker Lini Apisai saw Amua rushed from Topo to Wangarai, to turn out for the Wellington Lions against Northland. He scored a hat-trick in that match and finished the season as the team's top scorer. Those performances announced him to a few people but, again, the approach remained a careful one. Amua wasn't named in the Hurricanes squad for 2017, instead steered towards a second tilt at the World Under-20 title. He still trained with the Hurricanes occasionally, though, and made the odd appearance for their development team, including one memorable occasion earlier this year, in Levin when the team met the Crusaders in the curtain raiser to a Horo and Yuwa Kapiti club match. On as a sub, Amua scored with virtually his first touch of the ball, leaving six or seven defenders in his way on an amazing 45-meter run. Another try shortly after saw the Hurricanes get up and win having been down 19-0 at one stage. Again, though, it was that under-20 tournament in Georgia where the powers that be wanted Amua to focus his attention. Little wonder, as he scored a hat-trick to propel New Zealand to victory over England in the final. All the time he was working hard at becoming the complete player. Strong and not frightened of contact or collisions, Amua's scrummaging was useful, as was his line-out throwing. Given his appetite for work and eagerness to please, those will only improve. But it's the ball running and uncanny ability to breach the try line that marks Amua out for now. He's scored seven tries on Wellington's run to the National Provincial Championship final, including a couple that Tranaki wing Declan O'Donnell and Canterbury fullback George Bridge won't forget in a hurry. Hookers don't often outsprint or go around outside backs, but it's all in an afternoon's work for Amua. The national team leave for London on Friday a few hours prior to Wellington's final against Bay of Plenty at Westpac Stadium. Amua might not feel like he's won just yet, but the reality is he's an all-black now. So where was he on Wednesday? Not admiring his new team issue kit, waiting for his sponsored vehicle to arrive or asking his agent about per deems. No, Amua was at Rugby League Park, joining Wellington's other Dirty Dirties in trying to replicate Bay of Plenty's game plan and offering tips to the men, A. Paisai and C. Tavini Payongo, who'll play hooker in his place. Only the special ones do that, 